Hello, everybody. Uh, I had a few questions about the parceling out approach versus the standard approach. So I thought I uh, will just record an example. So here we have an example where we have the wage of someone and we want to regress it on the education and the experience that this person has. So for the standard parceling out approach, we will first regress um, education on experience. And that will give us a residual. So we'll have educ i equals alpha 0 plus alpha 1 x pair plus a residual for educ and we get the estimate so I'm going to put hats everywhere so that's the first step second step we are going to regress wage on the residual we just got and it will give us an equation that looks like wage equals delta 0 plus delta 1 r educ plus some error let's call it epsilon i so again, we'll get estimates. And if we compare it to the standard approach where we regress directly wage on the education and the experience. So we would get wage equals beta 0 hat plus beta 1 hat edic plus beta 2 hat expert plus ui and normally we should get that this beta 1 hat is equal to the delta 1 hat from the partialing out approach so let's check this with theta So as you see, I have the wage, the education, and the experience. So first, I'm going to regress the education on the experience. So what I'm interested in is, is the residual. So to save it, I will use the command predict. I will save it in the variable reduc and I add comma r to tell theta that it just wants a residual. So now I have a new variable here, r educ, that is just the predicted residual for the regression of educ on experience. Now I can regress wage on this residual and I see that the coefficient here is 0.644 now if I regress um, the wage directly on edduc and experience I see that the coefficient for edduc is also 0.644 so they are numerically equal you see to the last digit so that sh that's an example to show that the partialing out approach gives exactly the same result as the traditional approach.